Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is What's on the Tape, Season 17, of Volume 10. And this is where we work out what you wanted. You basically, at the beginning of the season, you're given a choice between The Biz or 100% Dynamite. And basically, The Biz had Batman, R-Type, Operation Wolf, and Double Dragon. And Dynamite had Afterburner, Double Dragon, The Last Ninja 2, and Weckler Mans. So... The votes have been counted, and we have an and we have a winner, and the winner is da, 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 da. it's not the biz. It's 100% dynamite. I'm actually quite surprised you didn't want the beers, to be honest with you. But anyway, it's 100%. It's got Batman on it, for God's sake. Why can't why you want that one? Anyway, um, it's 100% dynamite. That's what you chose, and that's what you're going to get. I think you all wanted to see The Last Ninja 2, because that's an absolutely stonking game. That, and I'm also not going to be drinking out the, the flake mug tonight. I'll be drinking out of what today. I'll be drinking out of the caramel one with the sexy bunny. Do you remember the sexy bunny? There she is, sexy bunny on it. So we're drinking out the caramel one tonight. It was part of a, a little uh, uh, sort of a, a, um, uh, a, a charity shop thing that I got recently with a lot of chocolate bars. But anyway, let's get this into a tape drive. Okay, so the tape's in the drive. We'll go down to our uh, to basic. It actually says on the tape um, in 48k mode only for uh, for afterburner. So afterburner. This is um, and, and it's an arc it's based on its arcade conversion. Basically, they're all I think they're all arcade conversions. Apart, no, they're not. There's, the, 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 um, last uh, last last uh, uh, Ninja Two is not a uh, is not a uh, is not a conversion. Anyway. But, uh, yeah, this is a conversion from Sega's arcade game, um, in which uh, you fly an F-14 Tomcat. So so we're going all Top Gun this time round. It's all highway to the danger zone and all that kind of stuff. So so we're definitely we're de we're definitely having a, a go with this one, and, and I'm giving it a try. Now, if I feel a bit, if I sometimes feel a bit like I'm a, I'm a bit disturbed, in, in the background, my son has got his uh, portable... Um, uh, a, a sort of uh, vacuum cleaner. It's, it's actually right getting on my nerves, to be honest with you. But but he's got a portable vacuum cleaner. But but I'm I'm but but when he's got his little portable vacuum cleaner on, it uh, it 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 kind of makes a dull roar. You can't hear it, but I can. Um, and it's just there in the background. To be fair, he's cleaning up his. He's got some. Uh, what we do is he's got his little portable vacuum cleaner, and he, he vacuums up um, uh, little beads and things like that. That's what he quite like it's doing. So 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 we'll let him play, and I'll play on 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 afterburner. The timing on this is a little bit bad for, for, for sort of the vacuum cleaning thing but it only has 15 minutes of charge so he'll go through that shortly I would I would hope in the next 15 minutes 20 minutes or so anyway caramel mug with the sexy bunny rabbit on it I'm not entirely sure what she did but I think she forced people to eat caramel chocolate so so uh, she would she would make you eat uh, the, the caramel the Cadbury's caramel chocolate and it says take it easy she said, take it easy so uh, yeah, she was. Yeah, she was. She was. She was forcing everybody to eat this chocolate. There's our F fourteens uh, there. So uh, as seen in um, Maverick, the, the the new movie, the Top Gun Maverick, and, and of course the original Top Gun. Uh, that's, it was quite a cool, quite a cool jet at the time. That was that's generation fourth generation jets at this point. Um, not not as cool as these fifth generation fighters we've got now. Mm. And of course, we're shooting down the uh, the, the uh, uh, Russian-made MiGs. That's what we're shooting down. The MiG fighters. That's what we're shooting down over the over the whole thing. To be fair, the timing of this is perfect. I don't think it was related to the movie in any way, shape, or form. But um, it was sort of perfect in the in uh, you know with the with the with 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 that movie. Um, this though, S super scalar technology. This was um, Sega's big big thing at the time. The, the 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 ability to scale sprites and size things. Unfortunately, this is a Spectrum, so it didn't really have that hardware technology built in. And as I understand it, though, I think it was Space Harrier was the basis. So Space Harrier was like the 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 the, the test bed or the test game that they created um, to try and um, to, to to work out whether or not Afterburner was going to be a was going to be a goer or not. And I kind of like I kind of appreciate that that effort. I mean, um, the thing about Sega is they've all, they always used to have the. Uh, uh, AMC, isn't it? It's AMC, I think it is, company. Um, they were the experimental wing of, of Sega. They were the guys who basically... They were, they were the boffins. They were the, they were the gaming boffins. I don't know what that really means, to be honest with you. 
but uh, they were probably allowed to grow their hair long or something like that, and 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 and, and ingest certain um, in, um, you know hallucinogenic drugs. That's probably completely untrue. But anyway, they were they were the experimental wing, weren't they? They were the wing of they were the wing of Sega where they just went, just make something cool, dudes. Just go in there, make something cool. Because I mean, they 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 made Virtua Racing. That was really cool. Um, really, it was just a test bed for three tracks and a race around it, and then ch- put a few machines together and look, we can do three dimensional graphics. I mean, so so I'm assuming that this is probably their department. This was in here. They were, they were like, what can we do with the sprites? Let's make the blooming thing scale. And that was that was the super scaler thing. That was the whole that was the whole thing. And then they, the, the the weird part part about this. Or I always think this is weird though. Is when you get to things like uh, Gold Nax, the original Gold Nax, which obviously is Sega, 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 you know, Gold. Um, the original Gold Nax, when it came to the arcade version, that was just an upgraded version of the Mega Drive version. I could see the logic. I mean, there was there was a there was a slightly better board for these things with the Sega the devices. Um, you know, slightly better. It was like doing it was like putting the 32x in and adding a few more layers to it. But that was all the real difference was. And I know that uh, I know that Nintendo got away with that in the arcade. I mean, they had they had the, the NES and and then later the the Super NES. Um, surprisingly, I can't even believe that that existed. I never saw either of them to be honest with you. But they do did exist. Um, very 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 rare. But those particular things were there, sort of, uh, you know, as as ways of just using their hardware that they were generating the console stuff that they got home into the arcade, thus reducing their costs. I kind of get that. Um, arcade machines were big, they were expensive, and they had to generate an income for the for the owner of the arcade. Uh, many of which I'm sure weren't arcade game players themselves. I suspect they probably weren't. Congratulations. Turn over the tape and rewind. Do I have to? Oh, the levels are on the other side. That's what I have to do. Look at that three. Look at that three D rendering there on the screen. It's not exactly three D rendering, but I'm going to rewind and put it on the other side. And rewind, and rewind him. Not a lot to rewind there. Um, right, okay. Uh, used by Activision under license from from Sega Enterprises Limited Japan. Right, okay. So I've got the keys already. I've got the keyboard set up already. So I know what it is. The space to fire to continue. Round the tape. I have around the tape. I hate multi loaders. I really do. It kind of one of those the weird things about it. I mean, I I get them. I understand them. Not a big fan of them. Really not a big fan of them. I think the keys are QA, I O, and P, which is the the lock on thing. But for some reason, when I pressed I, it did the lock on thing. So I'm not sure. Anyway, we rewound the tape. We pushed. I put my fingers on the keyboard. Didn't need to. We rewound. We're gonna play the other side of this tape. It's exciting. Brace yourselves. I, 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 to be fair, I did, I did see this in the arcade a few times. So I was quite impressed, but I never, never quite as impressed by this as I was with, um, with, with the, 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 the joy that it was that was Outrun, Outrun 1986. Oh, seeing that for the first time as a sit-down cab, where you got the gear stick, where it's high and low gears. I mean, it's just the little things, isn't it? The high and low gears, the accelerator and the brake, and the, 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 the driving along the road. I mean, honestly, and that Ferrari. That Ferrari, iconic Ferrari, which is now licensed up to the hilt, and you can't blub and use anything. That Ferrari, beautiful, beautiful thing. I mean, a fantastic thing. I bet I'm surprised that the F fifty fourteen um, Tomahawk isn't done that way. Right? Okay. Here we go. Launching off the the deck. We're there. All right. Okay. I've got the missiles. Ah, right. Okay, I've got missiles. So missile lock is actually I for some reason. I don't know why. So we fly along the surface, just blowing things up. It's sort of the first person perspective almost. We've got speed, so I can increase and decrease my speed. I've just crashed into something. I'm not sure what I hit there, but I, I got hit by something, and we get to take off again. It's a nice little. Uh, it's a nice. It's a nice uh, uh, version of the of the Tomcat itself, though. That the 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 oh should have fired a missile when I had a chance should have locked on with the missiles and fired them when I had a chance we've got three three planes left down the bottom left hand corner that's my planes there we go yeah we shot that one down it shot me down with a missile as well that's it. seeing those incoming missiles is actually quite tough 
Well, we see them in the distance. We need to lock onto those straight away. Those, 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 those are bad, bad things. Stage two. I don't know how you roll. How do you roll? There was a roll button. It was kind of like a roll that you could do. Was it double tap the direction? That's it. Double tap. That's what I should have done. You double tap the direction, you can roll. That's what you can do in the arcade. I remember that. So you're going to think, that's actually not bad. Frame rate's pretty pretty decent on this. I'll be honest. I, I'm quite, quite surprised how, how, how fluid this actually is. It's not bad at all. No, do the roll. Push the button twice to one direction and roll. Roll a blooming plane. Game over. Oh, I want a game again. I want to go again. I want to go again. High score table. Oh, I've got my name in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Proper ar pr proper arcade style entry of names. Love that. There we go. Eight, ninth, eighth on the table. Oh, rewind the tape and press play. How horrendous is that? It's still in memory. But they couldn't program for that. No, not at all. There was no way to program for, for, for it still being in memory. You have to load it again because it would be impossible to, to, to possibly give you the opportunity to run that level again or continue, wouldn't it? It would be absolutely impossible. We'll have some, we'll have some uh, coffee from the Sexy Bunny Mug. I'm going to have to stop saying Sexy Bunny Mug. I'm sure that if you Google it, you can Google the Sexy Bunny. I'm not sure what she said. It was all relaxed, wasn't it? Calm down. It was, she like she romanced like hedgehogs, didn't she? Another 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 woodland creatures, British woodland creatures, hedgehogs, bunny rabbits. I don't know yeti or something like that. I don't know what else she will romance, but she romanced the the, the animals of the the forest, mice. That'll be it, like wood mice or something like that. It's, it's gruffalo, all those those creatures that live in the, the woods. Werewolves. Well, only if you live in Yorkshire, though. On the moors. Don't go into the moors. That was terrible, by the way. I'm sorry if you come from Yorkshire. I apologise, Mike, to leave for that, for that, for that, for that, uh, for that impression. I just need to put t moors on that, didn't I? To get it right, t moors. Um, yeah, I apologise, mightily for that. I apologise. Um, I, I was going to drink my coffee there, but uh, but uh, yeah, I'm going to drink my coffee. Hang on. Oh yeah, good, 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 good. Right, there's the fire. To toggle pause. Ah, oh, right, press one. Right, okay. Hundred and twenty-eight k is the name of the ship. Look, Sega Enterprises. One hundred twenty-eight k. Right, okay. So we're firing. Oh, all right. You, and you hold it right. Right. I want to kill these guys quickly. There we spin it. Oh, he got me with a missile after all. That, 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 that. I don't know what it will be—a MiG twenty-nine or something like that, wasn't it? It's MiG twenty-nine was the was the Russian equivalent, I think, at the time. Oh no! I want to shoot him down. Shoot him down. I'm shooting missiles everywhere and there's nothing happening. Oh, I was, I've got straight. I just stayed in. I should have, should have, should have accelerated away from him and let let him, let the uh, let the uh, the missiles take its course. It's pretty good actually. I'm 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 more than a little bit impressed to be honest with you. I, I didn't think I'd like this, but um, it's been a year since I played it. It's actually all right. I mean, apart from the multi load, of course, which we 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 kind of oh jeez. Should have hit the afterburners there, shouldn't I? Because it is called afterburner for a reason. Yeah, that's the afterburner now. We're on full, we're on full built. Oh, missile incoming! The little red bits flash at the top of the screen. The top left and right flashes as the missile incoming. So I need to look, keep an eye on that. Oh, I got hit by the missile, even though I spun. I spun for those those missiles. Those those, those MIGs are just wiping us out. I was, there's no. I'm more goose than maverick, aren't I? I'm hardly Iceman. What was the name of the one that dropped out? There's one that dropped out, wasn't there? Oh, I managed to avoid them. Oh. 
Oh my God, there were so many of them there. I was just the focus of the community. Me going there, you know. Talk to me, goose. Talk to me, goose. I'm in a flat spin. It's all going badly. Oh, I've even got scored less score than I previously did. That's even worse. I can't even believe that. I've just noticed at the bottom of the screen it's the letters. There we go. It was hardly highway to the danger zone. It was more. It was more. It was more. Uh, it was more uh, trip to the supermarket, wasn't it, than than highway to the danger zone. I think it's time, though. And he says, fast forwarding the tape for the current one. I think it's time we get the next one out. We will get the next one out. What we got? Double Dragon. Oh my God, Double Dragon. This is one of these games that that. <sighs> It's no target renegade, is it? Really, let's be honest. It's 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 uh, it's kind of. It says it's tape three, but I don't care. I'm going to go with it anyway. Um, it's more, yeah. It's a, it's over time, isn't it? Is the old as the old um, um, double dragon. We we kind of we kind of want to love it, but at the same time, and it it's not quite. I don't think double dragons are a multi lord as well. I don't think it's a. I think it's 128. Is it 128 k? I don't know. Hang on. Let's let's look at the manual. We've actually got the manual for a change. Um, it wants to do the last ninja next. I'm not because because doesn't it's not in alphabetical order. We're doing D for double dragon. We're doing double D's first. I'm double D. Um, let's have a little look at that. Weckler Mans. Oh right. Okay. Where's double dragon? Ah, there we go. Double dragon. Double dragon. Uh, he's turning on the light on the on his on his magnifying glass. So bad. Billy Lee. Five foot ten and Jimmy Lee, five foot ten, um, both twin brothers. That's uh, the, the dodgiest story ever. The last, the big guy at the end is called Willie. He's six foot tall and he has a machine gun. He's the big boss. Willie is armed with a machine gun. Go, you know, you can't make it up. Honestly, can't make it up. Um, where are we? I know. I, I know about the controls. I need to know the the loading thing for it. Is it? Is it? Where's the load? Spectrum. Now that's Commodore. Loading instructions. Spectrum. Load dit dit. Right, okay. Uh, Q. R. What the hell? Those are such weird keys. Ah, why would R be down? That's gotta be. That's gotta be a typo. R apparently's down. Anyway, let's uh, let's let's just do basic, and we'll do load dit dit. Load speech box speech box. Load dit dit. The old the old load dit dit. This is one of those games, though. I remember playing this back in the day, um, and I, I I I liked it. We liked it. We played it on we played it on Amigas, and we played it on Spectrums, and we all we all thought it was absolutely brilliant, and you. You know, you did bits and pieces, and then you play it again, like after your nostalgia bug kind of gets you, and you go, right, okay, I'm going to try Double Dragon again. Can I can I suggest if you, I mean, if you're watching this, that's fine, you know, watch this. But can I suggest if you haven't played Double Dragon in a long time, and you have very fond memories of it being a, a superb game and a lot of fun, very very maneuverable and whatever else it's in, sort of uh, a playable game, don't. Because it's going to spoil the fantasy of the whole thing. I, I, I have it on the the Evercade has a has it, and I, we played it in the arcade challenge not too long ago. You can have a little look at that if you want. Um, you can kind of beat the arcade by doing back, um, um, sort of uh, back elbows. I think it is back elbow button. You can kind of beat the whole arcade with that. Um, it's one of those things where nostalgia is the bigger, bigger, bigger thing here. It's not a great game. I'll be honest. It's no longer. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not brilliant. It really isn't. And to be fair, the whole thing is a very dodgy story in the first place. I mean, it's Billy and Jimmy, yeah. Twin brothers, same girlfriend. She's a very happy girl. Um. So. So. Um. Yeah. And then, but then, and then, there's the weirdest part about it, from the whole thing. The, the weirdest bit about it is that once you get to the end of Double Dragon, it's, it's, it's sadistic. This, and you beat. Beat um, Big Boss Willie. I didn't make the names up. They they did. Um, and Big Boss Willie. Once you beat the Willie, it's going to be a lot of Willie jokes. <laughs> oh right, okay. And you beat him with his machine gun. 
Um, once you beat him, um, uh, if you're on a two-player mode, you then have to beat your other brother to death to take. I think she's called Madonna home. So, so this is a really, this is a really twisted tale. At the end of the day, this is the double dragon. It's not. There's no double dragon about. Maybe the double dragon is the is the jeopardy that it's, that's involved in it all. But, but the, the 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 whole aim of the game is to get to the end and save your girlfriend. But she then wants to see you in a blood feud with your own brother, one being murdered heinously. Yeah, it's a bit weird, isn't it? Really, let's be honest. It's uh, it's uh, it technos. Technos. They made some. They made some. They made some mixture of weird and wonderful games, didn't they? But as I say, it's it's not. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's not. It's not brilliant. Thousand and One Limited, though. Talking about this, Thousand and One Limited. They they did um, quite a lot of games for Mastertronic. It's actually surprising. I can't I forgot it was Mastertronic that was the publisher on this one. Really, is weird thinking about this. Mastertronic was the publisher on Double Dragon. It was probably the best title they managed to pick up at the time, to be honest with you. I don't think Master Trunk really in, 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 you know, into, into, into it at the time. Let's try and work out the math on this as well. One. I'm trying to look at the math of the binary, by the way, because it's called Binary D Designs Limited. So the, the 1001 is not 1001. It's actually one. The next one is a two. So if that would be on a one. That would be two. That'd be three. But it's not. The next one is um, a four, so that's not on either. And the next one's an eight, so it's eight and one. It's seven bits. Sorry, eight nine bits. So it's one more than 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 eight bits. So so it's nine bits. That's a total of nine there. So it's one, two, four, eight. And the next one's sixteen, thirty-two, um, Sixty-four, hundred and twenty-eight. I used to do this when we were coding the, the the graphics for screens on the spectrum. You used to build a single line of eight pixels across um, was basically two hundred and fifty-six, and to make it to work that out, you had numbers in various places in your binary. So that's actually nine bits there. So it's nine bits. Uh, so so they're kind of saying they're above the eight bits. I guess that's the, I guess that's the joke. That's the the developer's joke. So if you didn't know what it was, it's not thousand and one. It's 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 one, it's one, zero, one, whatever it is, so, so, uh, right, okay, we're flashing, it's exciting, we're, we're flashing, push a button, binary design, Ben Jackson, Jez Nelson, right, okay, can I redefine the keys, Q, A, O, P, and M for front attack, now I can do that, that's the player one controls, Player one controls. Oh, can redefine zero. Uh, that's my hit. Up, down, left, right. Perfect. That's better. Up, down, left, right. That's perfect. Right. Okay. Uh, zero controls. Zero. To begin. Press fire to begin. So here we go. Oh. All right, I'm going to I'm going to take something back. Spectrum versions better than the other versions I've played. It's better than the arcade versions. Very much um this it's a scenario that we've we've seen before uh where a Spectrum version actually works out better than the uh, the, the 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 version you you've played previously. Yep, Spectrum version definitely better than the arcade version at this point. There's a headbutt. Headbutt him. Yeah, actually, I'll, 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 I'm, I'm going to take back of what I've just said there. Play the Spectrum version; it's better. Still not Target Renegade, but I tell you what, in, in comparison to the the other versions I've played um, over recently, even um, of of Double Dragon, it's naughty that they always want to take you from behind. It's a bit rough, but uh, that's what they want. Yeah, actually, it's not it's not as bad as I thought it was. The Spectrum version is not as bad as I thought it was. I, I do take it back. I take take it all back. But nostalgia-wise, um, playing the arcade version, naff. I want. I really want to. Can I get? That's a jump. That's the back. That's the back button. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can hit knee him in the face. I remember this. It's actually quite good with a friend. This one, actually, I'll be I'll be honest. I did used to play it with a friend. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna 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 go back what I said and say it's actually better than I thought it was. It's better than I remember. See if we can get to the car. There's a car along here. That's actually all right. It's not awful. Definitely better with a friend though, because because these guys are really really uh, you know smashing my face in here beautifully. Yeah, that's it, got him. Big jump. And there's a car. And you get to the weapons later as well. That's it, you just you just stay on the floor there. Oh, he's, he's got me. There we go. There's a lady with weapons that comes out the door there with the whip. Look at that hairdo. It's beautiful, look at that. I want a whip though. Squeaked with you, you <laughs> love it. I'm gonna climb up here and go along the top. There's the scoop car. I always remember that. I don't know why it was there, but it's there. Oh, look at the man smashing through the wall. That's our, one of our bosses. That's cool. And look at the slowdown happening now. I fell off, and I picked up the weapon, and it's mistake. Oh, it's a mistake. He's made a mistake. Oh. He's punched me in the face until I'm, I've gone down. Oh. It's actually alright, though. I'll be honest. I, I'm, I'm quite... I'm quite... Quite, quite, quite pleasantly surprised. I've not... I don't think I've played it. And it's never come up... Why has it never come up on... On what's on the tape? You'd have thought this would have been like a, a mainstay of us all um, loving our arcade games and things like that back in the day. Why has this not come up on, on what's on the tape? It really hasn't. All right, I take it all back. I take every single word I said about it back. It's really good. It's actually proper tough as well. I'm, I, I, it, it is proper tough. I, I, I'm, I'm hitting every second of these guys. These guys are... Absolutely awful. Oh, come on. Oh, he's flying kick to me and again. Oh, I'm going to die at this rate. See if I can go up this ladder and see if I can encourage them up or something like that. Oh, they won't go up the ladder. Of course they won't. At the moment I go down here, I'm going to get kicked. Oh, they can hit me from a different plane of existence. Right, okay. Come on, I reckon he's dead. I must have punched him loads of times. He must be dead. You're, I'm going to be dead at this rate. This is horrendous. Hey, flying kick. I remembered how to do it. It's down, would you believe? Down the direction of fire. Is a flying kick. Like that. I'll just try to give myself a bit of a break so that I can get up on a level. Oh, I'll try to give you the 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 That's it, stay down. That's it. That's it. Stay there. There, brilliant. We're giving him some 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 That's it, keep stay down. Stay down. Baseball bite to the face or to the 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 to the, to the, uh, to the big boss Willy. That's what we've been Oh no, you oh, you idiot. Oh, he's throwing knives at me as well. He's horrible. All right, okay, big boss Willie. Oh, he's giving me, he's giving me, he's giving me punches. Oh, 
That's good, good, good. No! Flying kicks! Flying kicks of my friend. How did I die? Time up. Oh god, time up was too slow. I can't believe it was too slow. Press fire, press fire. I know how to jump. I don't want to jump. I want to flying kick everybody. That's it. And, and, oh, God, I've knocked the cable. I thought for a minute it crashed, but it hadn't. I just knocked the cable. Just my excitement. I need to, I need to kill somebody. That's fine. Oh, that'll do. Oh, he's got me. Oh, he's flying kicked me as well. Well, it was... It was oh, no! I'm going to run out of time if I don't start... Kicking the heads in. Oh. Oh. That's it. Beautiful. That's it. Oh, I thought it was gone there. It's actually better than I thought it was going to be. It's pretty tough. I mean, it's getting the moves out quite hard, but it, but it, but it is pretty, pretty, pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I've th I, my nostalgia for the Spectrum version has probably been tainted for the by 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 replaying the, the the arcade version, which is which is not very playable at all. Spectrum version is extremely playable on one button. You don't need all these punches and fancy kicks and all this kind of stuff. No, you just need a spectrum with a... Oh, look, there's a, is this a boss, dude. Oh, he's got a... No, he's got a barrel. I'm never going to get... Come on. I'm just struggling here to get these guys to stay down. One down. Taking forever. I'm just flying, kicking them to death here. Oh, yeah. Oh, the spectrum's hung! Oh, no, complete the mission! Oh, thank God for that! I thought for a minute there, spectrum had hung. Press fire to begin. Or caps to load mission two. Caps to load the mission two. Oh, yeah. Wow! Exciting! So you can just keep playing the same mission over and over again. I don't even understand why you'd want to do that. But anyway, yeah, caps to fire. I thought this would be a particularly short episode, but it isn't. Remember, I have my two-week break after this one. It's my two-week break. This is the time that I take to catch up with all of the various bits and pieces that I've got, so that we can we can you know get some videos recorded, some additional bits and pieces. I've got I've got another I've got I've got a little special for you coming up as well. So so uh, keep your eyes peeled. There is still a, there is a little special little sort of uh, what's in the box kind of thing coming up as well. So that's next week. So so you can you've got that exciting thing coming up. But this is my sort of my little uh, my little space to record some other odds and sods. The ones that take a little bit more time. These are the things that take some sort of setting up of the old hardware, getting the old Spectrums working, getting the Amigas working, the Amstrads working, the the, the Commodore 64s working, the BBCs working, the uh, the 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 apricots. It's been a while since I've seen an apricot. The uh, the, uh, the 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 you know the the the, the uh, what's it called the the um, electrons working, all this kind of stuff. So it takes a little while to get those things working. So so so, but but yeah, this is this is this is that time. It's that time. Oh. Mm. oh, that was good. That was good.
It was good. Not enough coffee, though, in it, I have to say. I mean, I was looking at it with my missus, and she reckons that, uh, uh, Mrs. Demon reckons that uh, it's, uh, it's, it's probably one of those ones that came with, you remember they used to put, when well, you had Easter eggs, they used to give the kids a cup or a bowl or something like that. I think that's, she thinks that's what that is, you know, that it's an Easter egg one and it's come with that. And I mean, I've recently, I've, uh, I just, oh, I forgot about that, this sort of thing. We've been recently, a bit of a break, been, been, been charity shop hunting and finding bits and pieces. One of the things I found was a whole bunch of sort of uh, uh, chocolate-related um, sort of mugs, including the 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 the, 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 the Whisper Bar, a fantastic thing in its own right. I love a Whisper Bar. Um, uh, what else we find? We found we found basically found lots and lots of lots and lots of uh, um, lots and lots of mugs. Um, that's good. I was hoping that would. Kill, kill more of them there with that, but uh, that's fine. I want to get one in a headlock and sort of punch him in the face a bit. But um, so uh, yeah, some whisper bars and some other bits and pieces. I'm not 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 what I would call a a, a good bit of uh, charity shop hunting, but I did find for for a whole for a whole nine pounds um, a a a monitor stroke TV stroke um, Samsung Sync Master. Um, it's got seems to have a decent resolution. It's actually got. I was quite surprised to see it. Um, it's got it's got VGA on it, um, and it's got it's got. It's got a few. It's got a few bits and pieces that attached to it. So, um, yeah, it's it looks it looks a pretty decent, pretty decent monitor actually. I'll be honest. See if we get them to walk off the edge. They often do that. There you go. They've they've, they've gone off the edge. So, encourage them to walk off the edge. Let's see if I can punch him out. Let's see if get punched. But yeah, but 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 um, what was I saying? Yeah, so so yeah, it had a it had a sync master, Samsung sync master, um, pretty pretty decent for what it is actually. So so I I, I was I was not forced, but um, I, I, for nine quid I was like, yeah, I'm having that. That's 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 got that's got to be that's got to be that's got to be worth having. Uh, let's keep this forward kick going. Let's keep them pinned down. I think I've got the the motion now for this. There's a baseball bat. I'll take that. You have to jump up here. Ah, he's got me. Yeah, I'll give him some of that. Danger. That's my middle name. Um, but yeah, so so pretty decent actually. It's got a scar socket on it. It's got a VGA socket on it. It's got TV in and out, and it's got um, uh, S video, and it has um, uh, um, a, a sort of. Uh, composite video um in and out so so i was kind of i was kind of like yeah i'm gonna get that because because they, they're kind of they're kind of handy and, and buy a four by three is is a tough thing to find nowadays so yeah i was i was i was i was up for a four by three monitor i thought i'll i'll get that yeah you you two come down yeah i'm gonna kick you in the face until you die I want to. I want to grab hold of him, though. Can I? Can I grab him? Oh, he's not gonna. He's, you come. Come down here. Come and play, please. No, he's coming. He's coming to play. <coughs> I always get a sneeze on. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get him in that pause. That's the. That's just to punch him. I'm trying to get him in the pose where I can grab hold of him and start kneeing him in the face repeatedly. Oh look, it's the ladies. They squeak when they die. I love the noise. Yeah, squeaky, squeaky, squeaky ladies. That was one died already. We've all got their whips. Oh, she's gonna punch me. Oh, she's got bigger hair basically than me. That's what it is. I suppose at this point, at least I don't have to kill my brother when we get to the end. If we if we get to the end. Well, oh. oh, she's got that whip, and she's giving me, she's giving me hell with that whip. There we go. I'm trying. There we go. Right, you. Oh, I fell off the edge, you idiot. Meow. 
Have I finished level? Oh, I think I finished level. It's for us again. I completed the mission. My God, it's going well. It's going too well. Caps lock. Load the next mission. Oh yes. Three A. Why is it three A? Have I gone like the wrong way or something like that? Where did the three B go? Is there a three B? I don't know. I don't remember there being a, a choice in Double Dragon to go a different direction. I completely take it back about Double Dragon, by the way. It's been blubbing awesome. So as I say, it's not Target Renegade, but but honestly, quite enjoyed that so far. That's been that's actually been 100% dynamite. I'll get my coat. Um, <laughs> it's not not 100% dynamite at all. Absolutely not 100%. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I, actually, I really like that. I like that a lot. Last Ninja Two is next. We're gonna we're gonna have a we're gonna have a go at level three, and we'll see if we can we can have a little a little a little wallop through level. Three. I quite like that. I quite enjoyed that. Last Ninja. I wonder if that's a I wonder if that's a 128k game. I've got the instructions here. It's like the third page in because it wanted me to do that one first. It wanted me to go with the with Last Ninja. Last Ninja. Get the old uh, magnifying glass out. And Amstrad CPC Spectrum. That's Commodore 64. Commodore 64. How have I got this Commodore 64 twice? Spectrum. Load it, it. It's a multi loader. No! On Commodore. On, on, sorry, on Spectrum Basic Screen or, or EAK, do load it, it. Multi-loaders. I say that I don't mind this one. This one's been quite fun so far. I'll, 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 it's not. It's not been bad at all, realistically. What is the story of the Last Ninja? What is the What's the deal with the Last Ninja? Have we? Have anybody ever bothered? I mind you, say we would have read it back in the day. I think my copy of Last Ninja originally was a, <coughs> a special copy, so uh, I didn't really. I didn't really get a chance to, 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 to look at it. Failures to disconnect. What's the story? What's the story? Multi-loader. Uh, doesn't actually tell you the story. It just says about moving. Huh. About the basic movements of the ninja. And the fighting moves. Kicking and downing and lefting and righting. Uh, follow the clues and objects. A list of loaded order. And you've got to find the things like that. Uh, it's very complex, yes. Computer terminals. Numbers up if you don't act like an elephant. What the hell does that mean? These are clues. Central Park. All oh, right, okay, they're different loads. Opium Den, Shogun's Retreat. Oh, it's always it's always destroy a Shogun of some sort. Keys in the grate and stuff like that. It, it does give you some tips and hints and all that kind of stuff. I kind of, kind of like the appreciate the effort there. Right, let's press the fire button. Here we are. Oh wow! Managed to fly and kick right over the heads. Really. There we go. Thank you. That's it. Get a, get a few flying kicks in here. Let's, we'll just go with the flying kicks, by the way. Seems to be the best way to deal with multiple enemies. When you're down one, you're not so bad. There we go. Just got to kill these henchmen until we get to Mr. Mr. Big himself. He's a he's a bad dude. I'm very energetic. I tell you what, I don't think I could do the, these many leaps in the air at the same time. I don't think I could do it even when I was a Peter for my fitness, which is like 20 years ago, probably. Was I peaking my fitness? Probably not. Not 20 years ago. Maybe longer, actually. Oh, jeez, I've forgotten how old I am. Probably a lot longer ago. Okay, let's give these guys some, some... Come on. That's it, I've given him knee, knee to the face. Take that! Knee to the face. Finished him off with some knees to the face. 
I'm a brute. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Yeah, knee to the face. That'll finish you off. It's what you all need. A good knee to the face like that. There we go. Hold the button down and keep going at it. And keep going until he's been kneed in the face enough. Oh, nobody there. Oh, man with a barrel. Right. Oh, he's hit us both. He's knocked us both down. Oh, he's he's he's. The, I'm giving them a, giving them some flat with some some wiggly spinning star kick. <laughs> it's not quite spinning star kick. It's more like Eddie Honda's uh, multiple fist thing, you know, that he used to do the flying fist thing. Ew. Yeah, uh, squeaky squeak. Pew. I love the noise. It's just ridiculous. Taking a whip. Yeah, have some of that. Yeah, have some of that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wax on, wax off. There we go. I'm killing it now. Totally, totally turned in my, 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 uh, my to my to my advantage. Yeah, we go. Look at this. They're just obsessed by the knife now. There you go. There we go. Fisted, fisted them. <laughs> Back to Willy's. Um, no. There we go. Oh, that's a knife he's got there. Look, he's he's, he's vicious with that knife. Yeah, uh, we give him, but we'll we'll give him the we'll give him the wiggle leg. Oh, I'm doing well here. I've gone from being quite crap at it to being quite good at it. I've got, I think I've got I think I've got the I think I've got the motion here, the sort of the repetitive nature of the, oh god no, this way comes one of these. There's a big dude, it's a big dude now. He's just he's just he's just dropped it, dropped dropped one on me. Yeah, we'll give the big dude a big a bit of a kick. There we go. See if I can still if I can keep him uh, under control with my crazy leg. Yeah, I've got him with crazy leg. That's it. It's finished another level. I can't believe this. We're actually doing so really well on this. I know I've got four credits and I've used one, but uh, you know it's still it's good. Go on then. What mission now? B. Oh my god! So it's like the second part of the same mission. It's amazing. But hey, just since I played a game for so long. I quite enjoyed it. I don't know. I, I, I used to quite like. I like quite like scroll long beat 'em ups. One of my sort of um, ones that I like in the arcade, and it's mentally hard. Um, I, or I used to like in the arcade was uh, was uh, Final Fight. Final Fight was a, a fantastic Capcom um, game. In fact, Capcom were pretty good at doing uh, sort of that those run along beat 'em ups that, that you get. You know those kind of things. Um, did you ever play The Punisher with uh, which had um, Nick Fury as the second character? That was brilliant as well. There's another one called. Um, Armor. I want to say armor core, but it's not armored core. It's something similar. There's another armored one by by. Basically, there's a Capcom um, sort of collection that you can buy, which has uh, Captain Commando in it as well. Um, there is that which has some. There's just mental things like that. It's a bit like Turtles and Turtles. I mean, Turtles is a fantastic thing. I got the Cowabunga collection recently for the Switch. And that's got some of the arcade classics in there. The 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 scroll long beat 'em ups sort of fantastic along the way. Um, I might might it's a bit like it's a bit Battletoads, the slightly different company, but but same sort of style of things. Some really really good um, run along sort of beat 'em ups, and on the spectrum, the king of all those 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 beat 'em ups, the the, the absolute um, daddy of 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 of, of walk along beat 'em ups is that of. Target Renegade, which was not was it, which is a spin-off. Oh, I've knocked the cable again. Which is a spin-off. I really must be careful with the cables. I keep knocking. Um, which is a spin-off of um, you know sort of the original Renegade game, which was based on a. This is bizarre, isn't it? What well, they they create things. That was Tecmo's as well. 
Um, and they created this, the Renegade game. And the Renegade arcade version is nothing like the Spectrum Renegade. The Spectrum Renegade game is the is 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 perfection. It is one of the best. But Target Renegade, as the as a sequel, is also a phenomenally good game. I mean, really, really good, really good sort of. Oh my God, straight into it. Um, really good arcade game, which is which. Yep. Thank you. Yep. And then he's just dropped off the edge. And he's just dropped off the edge. And he's just dropped off the edge. That's fine. You just all kill yourselves. Um, anyway, um, no, it's phenomenally good sort of two-player beat-em-up. Great on one play single player as well. Extra levels, beautiful music on the 128K version. Same with the, the original Renegade, which had an additional level as well if you played it on the on the 128K. Perfection, but it wasn't actually... It was, it was, a, it was a sequel... But it was a sequel to the, the the micro version of it, rather than being a sequel to the the arcade um, sort of game that the the the, the that it was based on, um, and and rightfully so it's 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 phenomenal it's fantastic um it's it's just an example of how the micros ran with something that, that that the arcade didn't because i don't think it was a particularly popular arcade game it was popular enough to make a an arcade conversion but i don't think it was a top, particularly popular game and if you've actually played it it's rubbish it really is I'll, by the way i've got to note their boots these guys have got the coolest boots look at these they, they must be shiny i think they're shiny boots they wear shiny shiny leather patent leather boots that's what they are just you know you can see your face in these boots these are the boots these are boots of a killer um but uh but yeah no it's just just phenomenal sort of uh oh here we go knee him in the face like a bit of that come on have some more that's it more kneeing in the face and come on you can punch him on the ground as well but i've not been able to do that um, but yeah, I mean, just just some some phenomenal yeah, the micros bringing those phenomenal games that 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 yeah, get rid of you. No no bricks for you, or no boulders for you to play with. Um, but but you know, just convert go running with a, with a with an idea and just creating another game that's just as good, as easily as good. In fact, if if not as good, probably better. You know it. He's trying to get a distance on me to try and throw his rock at me, but I'm not having it. Can I get it and dump it on him? Uh, no. Missed him. Threw it over his head. There we go. Kicked him in the face. I'm doing okay. I know I've used the credit, but, but I am doing okay. Take the boulder. Just notice his mouth opens as he walks, look. Like, having a good chat to himself. Look at that. Oh, God, that boulder's completely useless. It really is. I'm going to press fire again. I'm going to go for it. I'm quite enjoying this. I hope you don't mind. But uh, but but sometimes, sometimes a man's got to do what a man's got to do. I'm actually wanting to get to some big willy. Um, big boss willy. That's what I want. Some huge willy. <laughs> There we go, finish that level as well. Yes! I'm on level four. How many levels were there on, 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 on this game? I don't even know how many levels there are. I've run out of, run out of bits and pieces. That's, there we go. That's well, we'll just carry on for a bit. I'm quite enjoying it. I'm sorry if it's taken a bit of time. It's good. This is this hopefully won't be one of those um, cases where, where where we have a bit of our tape error. But yeah, I, I do think that it's good that we got some games that on the micros that that the kind of um, you know they didn't really they didn't make it to the arcades and wasn't an arcade thing and wasn't a console thing either. I still find that amusing about the the Houston game that isn't even uh, is Iridium that isn't even Iridium on the uh, the NES because I don't think they could handle the title. I think it's a brilliant name Iridium, but anyway, one of those things. I'm doing quite well with this though. I'm, I can't even believe that we haven't got to the, the last ninja or Weckler Mans. But hey, you know, we need must as we, we 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 haven't died multiple times thus far. I suppose we well we have, but but we haven't used a couple of credits along the way. Quite impressed how I'm doing. Mission four. I, I just I don't know how many missions there were. Is it five? Four? I don't know. Let's look at the manual. Let's read the manual again. Let's look at the manual. Let's you just stay there. I'm gonna read the manual. Um let's see what it says about playing the game. I know she just gets straight into playing the game. Uh when your life goes, all levels go. 
I'm on German. I am on German page. And the Italian. Italiano. I don't even know what that language is. What's that? Oh, it's German again. All oh, right, okay. As I say, don't know how many stages there are. There's a little picture of Jimmy um, elbowing uh, uh, somebody and looks completely defenseless in the stomach. And there's another picture of, of Jimmy running into a man with a machine gun and punching him in his bearded face. I'm going to assume that's Mr. 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 Big Willie himself. Mr. Boss, Big Boss Willie, um, the machine gunist. Oh, wow. Jump off the cliff. Wow. A lot of, lot of, there's a lot of similarity between the characters at the beginning of the game and the game characters that as we've gone on here, isn't there? They're all a bit, they're all a bit st samey. I, I, I suspect that the, there was, there was a, a, st a saving thing to save some memory. They, they kind of made them all the same, which is fine. I like the forest, by the way, as if it's lit up at night. You know, in the back there, sort of a, a sort of a, 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 a dappled effect on the whole thing. Quite like that. Oh, there we go. Some men with knives. That's it. Come on, take some of that. They're obsessed by the knife, but we're, we're going we're to use that That's our advantage here. Not hit anybody with any of these blooming weapons. I'm picking them up like crazy. And, and Ah! I managed to drop the weapon off the edge, but not actually kill myself. That's amazing. Oh, do I have to jump this? I don't. Hang on, how do I get up there? Oh, the bizarrest particular point of it. Right, okay. There's a couple of them there. Hit them with the rock. Everybody's getting elbowed in the face. Works quite nicely on the um, home version as well. Come on, them. Okay. Oh, he's, he's elbowing me. I can't move on. I can't move the screen on at the moment. So we'll just keep we'll just keep punching him. There we go. Uh oh. It's a man with a which the it's one of that the, them sort of large large dudes. Sort of the more the more aggressive sort of um largish dudes. There's the rock. He's throwing the rock at me. He's now he's now quite quite engaged in using the rock. I notice they get a bit of an advantage those those sort of tall uh, taller kind of dudes with the mustaches. They get a kind of they kind of get a movement um, bonus. They kind of can sh they can kind of shoot. They can kind of hit from a different angle. This will be his layer now. We're going into his layer, into the layer, deep into the layer of the of Big Boss Willy. There we go. That's it. That's it. Level five next. This got to be it. This got to be his layer. He's, it, I mean, honestly, it's 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 he's got a if he's got a mountainside layer. This is the man. This oh, it's A and B. Oh my God, it's huge. It's like, his layer's monstrous. It's Doctor Evil all over again. He's got a freaking laser beam. <laughs> he wanted two million dollars for, for 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 your girlfriend, whatever she's called. And this is good. It's cool. We're good doing well. I don't think I've ever done so well to be honest with you. We get a bit of punching. When you cross play with two players, you can punch each other as well, which is always always fun, because everybody likes punching their friends, don't they? I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna if you're gonna play two player games together, fight over the the, the controllers. I remember fighting over um, um, 3D stock cars. That was that was the, that was the, that was one of our go to sort of games, racing games. Um, you could you could have four players on 3D stock cars, and and getting four players on a Spectrum. It's nearly impossible, especially a rubber keyed one, which is what we had. So, so, but um, I used to have three because I my, mate of mine would have a joystick. One of them would have the joystick, um, and I had this um, attached uh, joystick, which which I'd kind of made with micro switches. So you remember those little micro switches you get, those little clip, clip ones you can get. So I got a clamshell box for a cassette case, and I'd um, 
uh, drilled a small hole into one of my quick shot joysticks and then brought cables out from that quick shot joystick into the clamshell where I mounted these things, drilled holes in it, and made it in like a in the position of the Q A O P and, and M, so so the up down left right whatever else it was. Uh, it was attached by a cable, um, and then you basically you could hold it, you, you could you put your hands on top of it, obviously put it in your lap, put your hands on top of it, push these buttons down, but after the clamshell shell, and with these things screwed in, and it was actually like pressing using the keys and the keyboard. So so everybody really everybody quite liked using that because kind of you could sit a bit further away with the joystick, it's equivalent of uh, with the joystick with this with this with this weird and bizarre um, soldered together um, micro switch based. Um, joystick conversion of a of a quick shot joystick, which is a brilliant idea. Realistically, I, I, I to this day I, I still I still remember it was a brilliant thing because it also worked when I had an Amiga. So when I had an Amiga, we got we we had the same things on the Amiga. Oh, here we go. You know, it's it's his it's his layer because he's got he's got he's got cool um, monster faces on there. Quickly get this guy before it before they turn up all three of them. And gang up on me. And he's got his, he's got his fancy carpet as well. Look, he's got his fancy carpet. And he's got his fancy carpet. Oh, it's brilliant! I've got him. I've got him in a headlock of uh, of of destruction. Yeah, keep kneeing them in the face. That's it until they finish them all off. Brutal. Oh, there's oh no! Oh, I forgot about this. This is the bit where we got we we got you got dodge stuff. Oh flipping heck. This could be this could be rough. Shit. That's hard work. Yeah, I'm gonna press fire, but I'm feeling a bit cheated with the dodging stuff. Oh sugar. Oh my god, this could be this could be the end. Shit. God, got past. My God, that was bad. Oh, there's a good blooming thing poking on the top there as well. Oh, it's totally, totally off. You can't be doing that. I forgot about this. There's the traps all over the final level. I mean, seriously, though, as well. You, you know, this is your evil de demon lair. Oh, thanks for that. Uh, so I can't even walk down any any further. Oh yeah, I can just enough to get underneath the demon poker. Brill. Oh, now I've got to go. Oh, knee him in the face. Not got many credits left either. This could this could be it. This could be this could be our this could our be our um, the end of our a uh, run. Five credits. 50p. Oh, there's a load. That was nasty, that. I didn't like that bit. I didn't like that bit at all, actually. Press cap shift to go to do the next one. Come on, then. Part B. This will be this will be the willy. We finally get to see some willy. He's going to be here at the end. Waiting. Upright. <laughs> it's not right. It's not right. Stop it. <laughs> I'd like to say, by the way, that this 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 copy um, of Dynamite One, or Hundred Percent Dynamite, was sent to me by uh, a chap called Daryl, lovely fella, and he's so good that it's even got the ocean bag in it. You know, the little baggie that they came with the for the tapes to go in, and it says ocean on it, and so it was printed with blue at the bottom, the ocean, and the and the lettering. I mean, it's so good. I mean, he's uh, honestly, I, I, he's a He's a brilliant guy, and I, 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 you know, and 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 he and he's and he's been watching the channel for like forever, and um, so so he, he definitely gets a fantastic shout out because um, he's a, he's, a, he's such a great guy, and, and I say sent me loads of these. So it was just Christmas time, I think it was, and it was just it's just amazing. Um, I've got we've got we are the champions that he supplied as well. We've obviously got the biz that he supplied, and there's a there's so many others, plethora of other 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 titles that he he's he's he's, he's supplied to me. It's really really nice actually to be honest with you. 
Um, got you know that kind of thing where you get into to sort of a a, a relationship with uh, with 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 sort of sending things back and forwards. We send we, where my wife um, knits and things like that for his kids and things. It's great. It's really nice. So so thank you, Daryl. I do appreciate this. It's really good. So so um, and of course we get to play it. We all get to play it together. It's brilliant. We're all you're all here with me in spirit. If you were here, I'd actually get you on the joystick and you'd be able to finish this level off a lot faster. Mind you, to be fair, you'd be stealing my credits right now. I've got my glory right now. I'm, I'm, I'm manned up and I'm all, I'm all, I'm all muscular and sweating and with, with a, no. I'm <laughs> so, no, we're not talking about Big Boss Willie. Um, anyway. Is it loaded? Oh, I was excited there for a minute there. Thought, thought, thought it loaded. I thought we were on the big, the big level, the big final level. Final mission. I'm here. Oh, sugar. I need to get that. Yeah, I know. That's it. Got him. Got him now. That's it. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Final mission. It said B, though. I don't know what happened there. Oh, no, no. That's it, they're down. Right, cool, cool. We've still got a couple of lives left. Let's see if we can get through this quickly. There she is! There's the girlfriend! She's up there, look. She's been... She's been... Because, because, because... What you need to do is tie her to a wall if you... If you can kidnap... I don't know why you kidnap girlfriends and put them on the wall, but... Uh, Maybe it's, maybe it's like maybe it's like trophies or something like that, you know. What I don't know what he's going to do. What if I'd never made it here? Would she have just been spent the whole time tied to the wall? Would she just been she, that, that would have been it. That would have been a lot in life. Just just mounted to the wall like a like a like a trophy. I don't know. I'm just 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 speculating here. What are you doing? You're kind of just out of reach of my my my. There. You're down. Okay. There she is. Long, long to the... Quick, get out of here before we go. Look, come come with me. Come. I'll unlock you. I'll I'll do a flying kick into to your direction. No, not a headbutt. That was actually looked really rude. I was Oh. 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 Look at my flexing I'm flexing my pecs, look. There we go. Look, look, watch. Demonstrating my abilities. Look at that. Look at this. Look. Oh yeah. I'm 100% dude. Look at this. I'm so cool. Yeah? No? Okay, fine. Let's find out. Let's 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 move on a bit and Oh, here's the big boss. There's big boss Willie. Why does he get a machine gun and I don't? He's, that's not fair. I want a machine gun too. Seems that flying kicks don't do a lot of damage, though. So it's the only the only drawback. But I'm trying to thin down the herd here. I would should do. I should. I want. I want to thin down the herd a little bit. Yeah, I want to thin down the herd a little bit. And then we'll just we'll just deal with some. We'll just deal with Big Boss Willie. There he is. Look at him. This is this is a this is a proper what's on the tape. A bit of action, bit of action. Like a way, just bouncing from one side to the other, one leg one way and one leg the other, just floating through the air. I like the way they ducked and then just still got hit. Here we go. And then, come on. We're so close, I can feel it. Oh no, they've given me another one. Oh no. Oh, right, okay. So so basically, ah oh, no, it's one of these kind of games. Where you got, you've got, oh, it keeps, but it keeps the number of enemies the same regardless. So, so you're always going to have another one that drops in. Right, okay. Look at him when he's going to hit him. Oh, I've got him! And it was rescue, rescue, rescue! Here we are! 
Come on down. I can't remember her name, whatever it is. There we go. Get smooched. Get a little kiss. And may you live happily forever after, apart from if your brother's there when you have to murder him heinously. Press fire at the beginning and we're on the final mission again. We're on the final mission. That's brilliant. I love that. Thank you for staying with me for that. That's I've never I've not you know, do you know something? Do you know something? We've not we've not we've not finished anything on this for, for ages and ages and ages. So that was that was well worth it. I enjoyed that. I hope you did too, because I did. I loved that. I loved every second of it. Weckler Mans and and Last Ninja. So just rewinding that quickly while we do that. We'll do that the rewind the tape. It was brilliant. I bet you never thought you were going to watch all of Double Dragon. I never thought I'd actually play all the way through it. I thought the nostalgia thing would destroy it for me. But uh, to be honest with you, specky version, awesome, absolutely awesome. I don't think I've I don't think I've played it on anything else. I think I played like the NES version of it as well, and uh, not the NES. NES, yeah, the NES version, the NES Nintendo Entertainment version. Don't think I liked it particularly, but specky version definitely has the edge on it. Maybe the maybe that's the, one of the Spectrum's special gifts. It's a bit like a bit like it with uh, with Target Renegade. Maybe it's maybe it actually is particularly good with these things. I don't know. Either way, it's a good thing. That takes a lot to rewind, by the way, when you've gone through so many levels. It's just winding forever. Come on, rewind. I just want to I want to make sure that we get we get what we we need. Right, tape, tape two. I think this is tape four. I'm not even doing any of them in order. It's also needs rewound. Never mind. Right. Basic. Load dit dip. Load dit dip. Enter. Push the enter key. We're ready to go. So uh, last ninja is some kind of... Uh, uh, you're the ninja. Obviously the last one. And it's graphically impressive. However... It's an isometric, and and we've discussed this before. There are very few isometrics I do like. Um, uh, the, the 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 nostalgia of uh, uh, the the enjoyment of uh, of of Ant Attack is one that that I do like because um, it was one of the very first three um, D sort of environments I played, and I quite liked it as a result. I did like I did like a number of you know I did like a number of of of, of other games. A few that really kind of caught me, but but this one is uh, this one is not the uh, this is a different one, right? Okay. Uh, enter cycles through the ninja's equipment. Spacebar cycles through the ninja's um, ninja's ninja's weapons. P picks them up. Q to kill the ninja. Don't really want to do that. J to s select the, jo the joystick orientation. That's the keys. For the Commodore owners, the game can only be played with a joystick. For Commodore owners, you should plug that in. For Spectrum owners, you should plug your into a standard standard interface. Oh, right. It has to have a joystick. Right. Okay. I'll plug a joystick in, and we'll find out what's what. I didn't realise I actually needed a joystick. I, I was that, that's a new one to me. Hang on. Just grabbing the joystick. So, um, favourite joystick um, at the moment is still the Cruiser. However, I do have... Try to find, try, try to find joystick port 2 without knocking it. Port 1, sorry. Joystick at the moment is, is the Cruiser. However, to be fair, um, my, uh, back in the day... My favourite was the Competition Pro, which um, again was I got one sent to me by by, by the lovely Daryl. Thank you, Daryl. Um, Competition Pro, I just loved that that the smoothness of the motions on that one. It was just a lovely joystick. At the moment though, I kind of like the clickiness of the uh, of the of the cruiser. I've got I've got one with a with a green lime green base, yellow fire buttons, and a beautiful beautiful back to big 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 boss Willy, um, pink. Um, joystick, and then of course you can tighten the uh, the tension on it with the little windy bit in the middle. So there's a there's a tension wind winder, so that you can you can make it tighter and tur uh, you know for for I guess for different games. Um, I leave I usually leave it on quite loose because I like to I like to be able to move it around, get lots of flexibility in the old movement there. But uh, I'm quite yeah, quite like the cruiser. I did pick up another cruiser recently in black, uh, but 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 it's like a lot of things. I don't mind peripherals kind of matching the things, but but why would you want to? 
Why would you want to? It's a bit like it's a bit like the it's the, what's the car conundrum they have with the with cars. Why are cars all just gunmetal grey and black and and white and all this kind of stuff and silvers and whatever else? Why? Why? Why can't they just be all brightly coloured? I mean, why don't we all just have smarties of cars? I just don't understand it. It's it's just like oh the resale value. Everybody wants a black car and whatever else is. I don't want one. I don't even like the fact that my own car's gone metal grey. I mean, that's it's also it's midnight, no, it's not midnight, midnight grey or something like that. It's it's just it's just a stupid colour, realistically. It's one of those things where I would like to kind of, I'd like to, I'd, I'd, I, I wish they could cars were as easy to change as they were in the arcades. You know, just what colour do you want it? I'll have the pink one, thanks very much. Not that I want a pink car particularly, but I, I always want, I want, I don't, I, when I've been able to choose it in the past for myself, I've had lime greens, lime greens, metallic lime greens. I've had pearlescent greens I like green by the way if you've, you'll notice the, this pearlescent green with purple in it wow amazing hit it in the side sunlight you get, you get a combination of that purple and, and green amazing pearlescent green I've had um, purple I've had a purple car it was uh, light purple uh, purpley blue um, I've had blue I've had a blue car I did have one black car and the one black car because everybody was like oh, you're going to have to have it in black it looked cool and I blooming hated that car I really did. I I I don't think it was because it was because it was it was of the colour of the car. It was just because it was a. It just it kept on breaking down, and for a, and and because I used to get company cars from where I worked, it was brand new as well. So it had like two miles on the clock, and it kept breaking down. I bloomin' hated that thing. It was a, a a Volkswagen Polo. It was, and I'm, I'm and it was a it was a it was a thing. It was an aberration for me. I didn't really mean to to kind of go with that. I always had slightly larger cars, family sized ones, but. They you know, change the 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 because because people do you know they change the, the 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 scheme for cars and I didn't really want to be hit with a bill for um, a slightly more expensive car every month you know it's because you could pay for the difference between the car and whatever else but they reduced the amount of money that was evolved from the cars and the resulting effect was I decided I'd ch- 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 I'd buy I'd, I'd I'd get this Polo. There's the music. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. There we go. Right. Okay. So this is us and the ninja. Press J to change the orientation. Mode two. Ah, that one suits me. No, it doesn't. Oh yeah, it does. That one suits me better. Right. Okay. So. Ooh. Hang on. Let's run backwards and do some karate. Karate. Chop, chop, chop. Right, okay. Let's go this way. So you got to go behind the curtains. It took us ages to work that one out back in the day. Do you remember this? So here's a little dude. Take a kick to the testicles. Ninja testicle kick. Ninja testicle kick. I shouldn't be going blow for blow with him because he's, he's clearly smashing my face in. Look at the graphics on this, though. It's brilliant. Oh, he's down. Let's murder him. Okay, so I think we can go out this way. Actually, the controls aren't as bad as I remember. How did I do that jump? Oh, it's because of running. All right, okay, so let's go this way. Oh, no, he's back up. I don't want to fight you again. Why didn't we kill him? We're a ninja. <sighs> Punch him in the face. That's his power on the bottom, by the way. That's his, that's, his, that's his power there. That one there, that bar. The red one. Punch him in the... Punch him harder. There's a... I can't remember how you get out of this room. There we go. Right, okay. I am a ninja. I must remove myself from this... Uh, thing. How do I open the blooming door? What do I do? What do I do? Uh, the, is it a door that I'm trying to get out? He's going to get up again in a minute, though. Look, his energy's going back up all the time. He gets a full set of energy as well, which is really awkward, because you see, he's got power going up there. How do I open the blooming door? Come on, quickly. Qu- quick instructions. Instructions, instructions. Uh, pick up object, P. 
I can't pick up the object. Well, how do I, open? I don't know how you open the door. I know you open the door and then go around the park and walk around the park. Ugh. Oh no, I'm getting punched. Stunning graphics. Um, bit of a, a, a adventure game in the in the in the what it's doing. Just um, there's something I'm missing here. I've got to push a button. I gotta get it. if I can knock him out. I can probably press the P on that to pick up the. That's it. Get get hold of that. Kick him in the, the in the nether regions. That's it. Kick him in the nether regions. Right. Okay. This thing here, that has to be a door, doesn't it? Not that chain there. There. Press P on that. P. No. Enter. Space. Oh, curse keys also work, by the way. I didn't realise that. Um, I had no idea. I don't get out the first room, guys. I can't even remember how I get out the first room. That's between behind the curtain. That's a kind of... Oh, I can kind of move left and right. Look, surf myself left and right. I've killed him, by the way. He's dead. Because he's got no power. His power's not going back up again. If you kick him enough, you kill him. Let's press P to pick that up. I can't find anything. What's to use? That's definitely the door out. I'm telling you now, that's the door out. What's What's the other buttons I've got available to me? There's like cycle my my weapons, I believe, as well. I don't know, don't know what else the buttons there are. Let's have a little look at this. Uh, P to interact, Q to kill a ninja, space to pause. Right, capable of three dimensional fighting. Yes, last ninja. Yes. Activate the P button on the keyboard. Right, okay, what's the clues? Maybe there's a clue that's in, uh, involved in this so that I can get out of this room. What's the clues? Keys for the greats and so greats. In the beginning, hard uh, hard bunch to find. Right, okay, that's, that's ridiculous. I have no idea. So I had to kick him to death. So I've actually killed a man now. Mama, I've killed a man. Um, I'm sure there was a way out of this place. I thought it was just out here. You'd have thought that was the way out, wouldn't you? I don't know what the, what, what I'm going to do with Last Ninja 2. I got this recently as a Hit Squad game. It was, came with a, a bundle. Um, and and I, 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 I wasn't wasn't expected. I didn't expect to get uh, Hit Squad games. I don't don't collect Hit Squad games. First off, I can't. I don't think I could handle that addiction. I've got enough. I've got enough problems as it is anyway, in the sense of um, what I play and what I don't play. Because 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 I I, I kind of collect everything. I collected. Uh, I've collected some some some. Oh, I forgot about forgot about that. There's a little story. So so I saw on the uh, Sinclair for Sale uh, forum there was uh, the the old group um, should I say on Facebook there was a uh, there was a there was a game and I said to myself you know what if that hasn't sold by morning I'm going to buy that because it had a really cool looking cover it was like a gigantic serpent on the front of it it was uh, serpents from hell it was called and i was like if i if that if, if that hasn't sold by morning i will i'm going to i'm going to buy that i'm going to i'm going to i'm going to oh is this as simple as this by the way it's that it's simple as that I had to punch that to get it to open. But where, where does where can I go now? Can I can I get out now? He says as he was about to change the game. There is a there is a a logic to this. P to pick up. No. P to pick up. Uh, do I can I cry chop this? 
So, yeah, you're meant to punch that. It's so random, isn't it? Am I meant to punch the light? Oh, I can't remember how you get out of here. Oh, well, I punched something anyway. Right, okay, let's go on to the last one. Let's go on to Wecklemans. Quite looking forward to Wecklemans. If I remember rightly, this is a, this is a, this is a, like a, is this a 24 hour race? I think this is what it is. It's a 24 hour race. Um, I don't know if this is 128k actually. It's, might be the only one that is on the whole thing. Let's have a little look at Wecklemans and see quickly before we do load it, dit and see whether or not it, it, it goes loader. Because if it says loader, then we might have a, we might finally have a bit of music. Let's have a little look at this. See what the Spectrum says. Loading. The Spectrum version. Loads in one part. Well, that's good news because they're not multiple up yet. 24 hour Le Mans racing. Side A is 128k and whatever. Oh, so we have 128k. Ooh. On side A, right. Let's reset this. Let reset this spectrum and let's get this. Let's get the 128k version working. Loader, do it. Other side is 48k version, so we've got 128k. Anyway, so Wick Le Mans or Le Mans, uh, 24 hour race. This is the one with the the, the the If you've seen the movie, I think it's Shelby versus Co uh, Shelby versus Ferrari or whatever it is, or Ferrari Cobra versus. Um, it's basically, Shelby was 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 a was a chap who created a Ford that that, that did the. The whole race, if that makes sense, it was that was, was Ford Shelby was a big big thing about the whole thing. But everybody else was getting beaten by. Was it Ferrari was beat won all the time? It was Ferrari was the big was the big provider of sort of, uh, of, of 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 winning vehicles. I'm sure there's something odd about the whole thing though about that whole story. I know they redid it recently, didn't they, with Christian Bale and is it Matt Damon? I can't say Matt Damon without going Matt Damon. Yeah, it's from Team America. It's fantastic. Um, I think Matt Damon quite enjoys that as well, actually. There's a Matt Damon. Well, he just kind of screams it. Um, but, uh, yeah, Team America. Another another one of those things that would be massively censored in the future. And, and do you know something? Uh, the sanitization of, uh, of, of books is a, is, a, is, a, is a dangerous, dangerous thing. Take Nazi Germany, for instance. Sanitization of books is not is not a good thing. So, 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 although the terminology and uh, uh, may be uh, seen as not politically correct now, I don't think that uh, censoring Roald Dahl's books is a very clever thing to do. Um, I mean, it was they were humorous at the time. I read them as a kid and read them as, and and I don't know if we read them to our kids, but 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 things like the twits and whatever else it is, they, they, they it's 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 of its time and if you're offended by it then explain why you're offended by it rather than uh, uh, making a uh, making assumptions about or, or, or changing the literature just because it doesn't fit the fit, 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 fit the current um political correctness so uh, yeah i think i think that there's a very dangerous road when you start sanitizing literature Tell you what, though, my 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 wife made a, a, a an interesting comment. Um, she said she said, well, you'd have to you'd have to start with the Bible, then, wouldn't you, if you were going to sanitise something as well? I think she may have a point there, because that has a lot of death and violence in it, apparently. Um, so 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 yeah, you would might have to start with that if you're going to start sanitising books. It's going to be very boring. There are going to be a lot of empty pages in the future, I think. It's about stories, people. It's about stories. We know this. You're all smart people who watch my channel. You know it's just about the stories at the end of the day. It's about damn good stories. Forget the forget 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 anything else. Just the story is what what you know. If it moves you, that's the that's the important thing, isn't it? So, uh, like spending like spending time on this channel, it moves you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Where Clemans. Um This is one of those games. I've got the big box version of this somewhere. Um, probably got it about twice because um, I do like to buy things um, repeatedly for no good reason. Um, but I've I've got the big box version of this. I keep doing. I occasionally do bundles. I got a bundle recently and I ended up, as I say, with uh, with that with that uh, last last ninja um, from Hit Squad. I don't, as I say, don't collect them at all. Um, um, squad i do think they're extremely dangerous i do, i think at this point in time i what what are the rarest now i think your rarest ones are going to be definitely in in this possibly in this order i'm i'm going to go i'm going to go with um the adams family dark man and castle master i 
I think they're the three rarest at this point in time, with Castlemaster being number one, I'm afraid. Um, I do feel sorry for, for those collecting it. Sorry, Dave. I didn't mean didn't mean to bring up rough things in your you know, rough rough memories. Just go back to drinking, it'll be fine. Um so so um but but yeah, the, the, those ones I mean I I believe that the uh, what's it um oh what's the name of the the other one, Stun Runner. That was also another that was another tough one I believe and there's the WWF ones and there's a few there's a few but 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 those 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 three are the like the those are the daddies of it all. I mean I I I I I've been slowly collecting Master System games and I've been doing it for a while. I've been doing it for a while. I've been I've been slowly trying to collect it. There's only about two hundred and ninety odd uh, Master System games in total for the whole UK collection. Or, or at least the European collection, anyway, for the PAL side. There's a few more if you include the Brazilian ones, which are, which they create some of their own, and and of course if you include some of the US ones, there's a few of them. Um, I've been collecting that as one of my few collections. I don't do an awful lot of collections. I've got Spectrum games, which I utterly adore. I just I'm, I'm addicted to those. Um, uh, I, I, do you know? I've, I've, I've forgotten the entire story with the, 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 with, the, the, with the with the the tape as well. But that I was getting the other day. Anyway, but we'll get back to that in a second. But I've got a few collections I adore. One of which is the Master System, right? and, and and I've got my my Master System collection, my Spectrum collection, um, and I have um, Switch, and I have I have I have Evercade, which I really think I do think is a is a, is a massively brilliant because it does it's doing indie games as well, things that might not see the light of day in any other form. So I'm I'm kind of impressed by that. But uh, but 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 I don't have many collections. So 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 I know that there are a few big expensive ones in the Master System collection. One is Smurfs, Power Strike and Power Strike Two, nightmare, absolute nightmare. Uh, hundreds of pounds now. Uh, I I just I, I, I as much as I want them because they they'll help me complete my set. I catch. I don't know if I can justify it. I really don't know. I really don't know at this point. But anyway, um, back to that. But back to the uh, the um, Spectrum um, Sinclair for 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 sale. Um. Anyway, I saw this game. Uh, I said to myself, if it doesn't sell. Uh, by the morning, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it because I I love the cover. It looked great, great big coiled up serpent coming over the top with somebody sort of almost riding the back of it, um, called Serpents from Hell, um, and I I I I I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll put I'll 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 buy that. So so I've 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 I've, I've bought that. Um, then there was a little there was a little debate in the whole thing about whether or not it was a missing in action game. No, I've never had a missing action game. I think one did crop up a number of weeks ago in this series of, of a possible Pac-Man that was probably probably a type in. I'll be honest, but but there was a possible missing in action there. But but beyond that, no missing for actions. I've never 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 owned a uh, missing in action game. Not one not one that's not been catalogued to preserve. And somebody said that we need to catalogue preserve this. It's not been there. Turns out it had come out before. It's called Demon something or other demon club or something similar but it had come out before um, but anyway I'd bought I'd bought this game anyway but I bought it for the cover I mean this is this is how, what, I, what, I, what, I, what I like with things like this and this is why I love collecting for the spectrum I bought it for the cover the cover was just it's just just glorious looking um, sort of serpent coming out of there and, and and I said I said to my wife I said that somewhere somebody's got that piece of artwork and that's the next thing. I, I, I'm, I'm wondering whether I can actually track down that piece of artwork. Cause somebody must have it because it, it's a, it's clearly a, a, a beautiful watercolor that's been painted by somebody of this serpent with its eyes glowing in the, in the, and the, and the, sort of its tongue uh, coming from its head, and it's, it's in glorious red as it coils up from the, from the, from the bottom of the, the picture into the, the, the scene, and is looking, you know, sort of, I think at you to be honest with you, it's looking towards you, um, but it's just a lovely look. Looking, it's a lot of lovely looking cover, you know. It's uh, and I, 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 I often buy things because I love the cover, and I, I, I just, it was like. I was out charity shop hunting today with uh, with the family, and I, I I kind of not didn't didn't uh, didn't do massively well. I wouldn't say um, on the scale of things, but 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 um, oh, we got music. Oh yeah, uh, but didn't do massively well. But one of the ones that did catch my eye. Was um, was uh, Colin McRae three, and do you know what? Great looking game. I mean, great looking cover, painted as well. You know, hand painted. It's just, it's just, it's it's a pure white cover apart from the logo for for the top. Pure white cover. 
rally car coming towards you that's been painted on it, sort of half off the, the page, and then at the bottom it's got Codemasters in a lovely font. Um, all of, you know, the Codemasters sort of uh, roll, uh, Colin McRae 3 in a lovely font along the bottom of it against this just absolute, um, you know, brilliant white cover. It's just... It, the art the art involved in that is almost as good as just the game itself you know it's that that's the that's the kind of thing it is it's just it's just it's great you know wet Clemans, here we go you gotta speed up and then change gear I have shifted gear I'm in high gear now oh wow my car's off low gear again Oh, look at this. Oh, they're coming across me. I hate when they do this. Twenty-four hour wet Um It's actually just against the clock, really. This because all you're doing is um, you've not got a position. You've just got um, you've got there's a laps at the the lap time at the top, um, and and you're basically just racing against against the clock. So so basically, it's a Konami game from from from. Uh, was it in the arcade? I not, can't remember whether this is in the arcade or not. It feels like it was. If it was Konami, it would do because there was a Konami logo on the side of the screen. So there's definitely a, there's definitely an arcade tie-in here. But basically, it's against the clock, racing round, um, making it through. There we go. Expanded play because we're just racing against the time, and you're just basically circling the same lap over and over again because it's 24 hours on the same blooming place. These cars are really awkward. Really, really awkward. I've not overtaken anything. Really annoying that. Every time I catch up to them, these they they kind of swarm. Look at that, they're swarming. I'm not very good at this, but it's not a bad little racer. I'll, I, 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 oh, you, you nasty man. Just got ahead of a few of them, and then I got caught out again. Oh, you got me again. That's not very good. Okay. Yeah. Apart from the blooming cars that keep on coming across me. Oh, come on. That's not fair. We're going around the course again. That's pretty good, actually. I don't, I don't mind Weckler, man. It's pretty nice. We're out of time, though. No, driver, driver retired to the pit. Yeah, definitely can Mami logo on there on the side of the screen. I didn't even get a first lap done, look. Le Circuit. Le Circuit. Well, I'm going to have another race. I'm going to have another go, because I'm going to do it. 1988. And these guys just all disappeared in front of me. Look at that. It was same, same spec of vehicle, and they've just disappeared in front of me. Through the middle, through the middle, through the middle. Yes! That was good. I'm quite pleased with that. There's only four cars on the track. Hang on, where's this guy come from? Past all the first four. Can't be possibly any other cars on the track. That's a good run, this one. I can feel it. I can feel this is going to be a good one. It's not bad, actually. It's quite smooth. I like the addition of the extra music on the 128k version. That's usually your, your that was usually your add-on for the 128k. Most of the time, it's music or it all loaded at once. Um, in the case of Target Renegade, you got music and it all loaded at once. It was brilliant. With Renegade, you got you got music. I think you got music anyway, but I think you got music and and it it, it all loaded. Plus, it was an extra level, wasn't it? Brilliant. I remember playing Target Renegade for the first time. My mate had a plus two um, grey production line, which is which is my preferred machine normally. This is the this is a black uh, plus plus two A, um, but usually my preferred machine is the plus two 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 uh, grey. Um, and he had a plus two grey, and I remember going around to his house, and he just got it. And now that's the thing, we were all kind of looking towards Amigas at this point and other things. At, at, you know, the, the, when when he got that. But he'd got that. His parents had got it for Christmas for him. And he loaded Target Renegade. And I was like, what? It all loads at once? I was like, it took ages to load. Remember that? Because we all sat and read the instructions and mucked around as you do as, as teenage boys. 
but we were quite amazed that it had all loaded at once and that we'd we'd basically got the the you know the opportunity to sort of play together all at once on the same machine um uh with the with the it was just 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 fantastic realistically i like the little lee if you look down the bottom uh, left hand corner we've got the we've got obviously the gear but look down the bottom right hand corner we've also got how hard i'm turning the steering wheel it's like a little 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 a little analog gauge you can see it look moving left and right Isn't that cool and then we've got more time extended play let's see if we can make it through a whole lap would be awesome I would be utterly amazed if I make it all the way. Here we go. There we go. Some nice driving here by me. The cool cars, these uh, um, Le Mans ones, because they're, they're designed obviously to to all weathers as well. So it's not like Formula One cars. You know, you've got a, you've got a roof because you you could get wet and rainy over that twenty four hour period where you're driving. And they, they swap drivers, don't they? I think it's what they do as well, don't they? It's an endurance race more than uh, anything else. So these vehicles have to keep going. They're not uh, they're not uh, they're not they're not sort of slowed down by by. Oh wow! Brilliant. I'm just six seconds. I've done it. Lap two. I am so pleased with myself. Was there a bit of music there. I didn't hear the music, but there was. Lap two. Brilliant. I am an I'm I'm an expert driver all of a sudden. I'm quite enjoying this one actually. A bit more fun than Last Ninja Two because that was that was that was really that was that was I couldn't work out how to get out of the room. I knew there was something I had to break, but I didn't. I, well, no, I didn't know there was something to break. But the little X on the wall was kind of was telling, wasn't it? So. Uh, if I can get through here on the second lap, I don't know how many laps you've got to do, but but that is that is brilliant, low gear now. And we're off to full speed, two hundred and fourteen miles per hour. Yeah, endurance races for endurance for the cars to show off show off their endurance powers. They have their cars are so much fatter than my car, or I think they are anyway. Oh my god, I've done it! Extended play. I I. I'm, I'm, wow what is going on who is this playing the game it's clearly not me I'm quite enjoying this I hope you're enjoying it too because cause, 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 cause that's why you come here to look at spectrum things and remember the nostalgia of playing them all the graphics though the graphics are brilliant aren't they I mean I, I to be fair I've got to admit I do like the high res graphics that the spectrum had because it only had one graphic mode and that was just high res unlike the Amstrads and the and the, the Commodores and many other other um computers which had multiple modes it's, the spectrum wasn't wasn't blessed with that it was blessed with the text mode that it came with um with the with the with the the dreaded color clash from the fact that it had uh, um uh, oh god i thought it did, was doing nicely there and i, I, I fouled it up um but you know the dreaded color, dreaded color clash um of the of the eight by eight pixel that generated each uh, character on the screen text character that was and then changing the graphical um goodness this is why i was back to those um, bits earlier you know i was talking about the nine bits that were there um oh wow snuck it past there oh my god i made it i can't believe i made it how have I done? How am I doing this? It's impossible. Can't be possible. I'm, 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 I'm playing so well. It's actually quite good fun. I'll be honest. I really am. I'm actually quite enjoying this. I love, I love, you know, sort of getting into games and 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 then really enjoying it. I mean, it was, it was fun finishing uh, Double Dragon. I don't didn't believe I was going to do that. So do you know something? I bet you didn't expect this was going to be a a a, a, a two hour. Oh God! I've knocked the cable. Ah! I bet you didn't expect this to be a two hour uh, um, 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 video, or nearly two hour video. Well, it's worth it. Two week break. You can you can watch it again for your heart's content when you feel like it. Watch any of them again. There's lots of them. Have a little look. They're all there. I've retired to the pit and I've retired for my two weeks. Once, twice, almost three times. Oh my god, I'm brilliant. I really enjoyed that. Did I get my name in? I did and all. Oh, do I have to use keys? Oh, I do. Hang on.
Let's get my name in here. Yeah, we go, demon. Wow, distance. You get the, you get a distance. Oh my god, that's brilliant. Anyway, I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to uh, like and subscribe. Tell your friends all about me. Um, oh, no, don't tell them about me. Tell them, tell them don't, how bad I am at playing games. Anyway, whatever you want to do, <laughs> it's up to you. You're lovely people. Anyway, I'll see you in a couple of weeks' time with a new what's on the tape. Um, but don't be, don't, don't worry. There is other content coming for the next two weeks during that time. I'll see you soon. Bye bye now.